I'm Sarah from Post Road and welcome to The Great Art Doors, where we use natural materials to make art. Today, we're gonna to make a personalized walking stick. And so, you have to go out and find a stick. My stick is sturdy and it is about an inch or two across and it's got a place where I can hold on that when I hold it, my arm is bent like this, a 90 degree angle, so that I don't have to reach too far down and I don't have to reach too far up. I'm right there where it's comfortable. So go find a stick. The first step, if you're not gonna paint, is to wrap the handle with yarn. I'm going to leave a tail of yarn hanging from the bottom of the grip area. Then I'm gonna wrap all the way up, turn around, wrap all the way back down, and I should have a tail left to tie off. So the bottom of my grip is gonna be right about here. I'm gonna leave a tail tie off and then I'm just going to wrap my yarn. Now it's a process. First you want to catch a little bit of the yarn there. It's a process. This is, takes time to get the yarn on there neatly and smoothly and this when it's on there neat and smooth it feels better on your hand. So you can do this where you bring it around like that, or you can hold the yarn and rotate your stick, which also works well. So I gave you the color changing yarn might look like it's the same color for a while, but then you notice a subtle change. Like mine's going from purple to magenta. And then it gets really kind of pink down here near the end. So it'll be a nice contrast when I go back over my grip area. square knot, nice and snug. So that's a single knot. And then, oops, single knot. You might get a friend to hold it like when you're tying a gift. Put your finger there to hold it so that you can make your second knot and have it be nice and tight. There we go, there we go. So this is my handle. And I have these beads and they're probably a little snug for just the yarn to go through. You need a sturdy end to put those beads on. Whoops. I put this bead on first and I want it in the middle. There we go. There's some random beads. And I'm really kind of going for, with the beads and charms, I'm going for kind of a Renaissance fair, wizard, kind of a Lord of the Rings feeling to, um, as far as the general aesthetic. There's really not a wrong way to do this. At this point, this is up to you, your decorations, and how you envision your walking stick. Now, one thing, you do wanna be sure that anything you leave to dangle, dangles down below the grip so that it doesn't hit your hand when you're walking. You have some wire, 
And the wire is for these very little small beads that are semi-precious stones. The wire tends to get a little tangly, so use a gentle hand with the wire. Now, I've got some bells, a little bell, and I'm gonna put the bell on part, the part that's dangling. If I can get it through there. You can also use um, your wire as a threader. What you can do is make a loop with your wire like this, push the loop through the small bead or charm or bell like that, like that. Then you can put your yarn through the loop, which is big, like this. and you should be able to pull it back through. There we go. Now my wire, I'm gonna to use to decorate the top up here with some of these charms and beads. I got these leaves that I wanna put on there. A couple more bells. Um, and then these little stones are actually semi-precious stones of a variety of kinds, and you can thread those. What you wanna do is start your wire kinda of like you started your yarn. Above your grip, you wanna twist it on and twist it like a bread tie, nice and snug like that. There we go. And then you can thread your beads and wrap your, the top of your stick. Now this is the fun part. It's slow, but it's the part that is supposed to be fun. I wanna put one of these leaves on. I like these leaves. They're very organic feeling. So obviously we can't have a real leaf stick, but we can definitely have these leaf beads. And then I've got a variety of little stones here. I gave everybody a pinch of the stone beads. There we go. Put some in between the leaves so they don't all stack up. But this is the fun process part. Art is a process. And it's not always fast. And so you get the idea. Just put some beads and some leaves, some charms. All right, and I just have a little bit to trim off right here. Remember to keep the things that dangle down below the grip so that they're not smacking your hands when you walk. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this. And I'm gonna trim this. There we go. Okay, here's my stick. Got a little extra yarn to trim off and a little extra wire, but otherwise I've got my beads, my little charms and some bells. And it gives me a little jingle when I walk. And I get a nice soft grip. Maybe you painted yours or maybe you added tape or ribbons. Anything you can find, you're welcome to put on there. It's your artwork. I'm glad you enjoyed the great outdoors. Happy hiking.